this next. Uh, I'm really proud of our fight. Um, there were many opportunities that we could have gave in and just folded, but um, that's just not the character of this team. So I think that they showed great character to come out in the second half and have a better um, half. I'm really sparked by Monique Billings and um, her effort to just communicate and be everywhere on the floor. So, um, you know, it's always hard to come in here and get a win. So we'll take any, any win that we can get, any which way. All right, we'll move on to questions. If we have a question for anybody here, please raise your hand. I'm calling you. Um, we'll start with Dr. Welch. Go ahead. Hi, great comeback win. Uh, first of all, uh, Nas, I want you to describe like your performance at the beginning of the second half. I thought you played such an integral role as far as getting us into back into the game. Uh, just to describe your impact in the second half. Yeah, I think the biggest thing in the second half is that all of us just got to our spots and, you know, figured out what worked um, after getting into the post. One time we just kept going to it and and coach trusted in, in that and continued to run it for us. Uh, so I think it was just mostly just making sure that, you know, whatever was working, we continued to do. But as soon as we found it, didn't we not shine away from it. All right, we'll go to Hunter Cruz from the next. Go ahead, Hunter. A uh, question for coach. In the first half, y'all struggled to contain the Minnesota's dribble penetration and were giving up a lot on the backside. What do you think really changed in that second half for you guys on defense specifically? Yeah, communication. Um, that that was really big. And you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna have a successful year, we talk about this all the time, is that they have to be um, effective communicators to one another. Um, Mo Mo Billings came in and. I mean, it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference and a big impact. Nas just said it in our in our um, locker room. is like she knew exactly what she should be doing, where she should be because of Mo's communication. And uh, that's how it should be. We got to be uh, high level communicators. And when we're not, we look like the first half. And when we are, we look like the second half because the communication um, it's directional communication and it just spurns energy. It brings energy when you can do that. And so that's exactly what Mo brought to us um, in that second half. Right, Emmanuel Blaze, go ahead. Alicia, 26 and 10. Talk about that second half that you had to just turn it on like you did. Um, I mean, I was just out there playing my game. Uh, it feels nice to be on a team that, that believes in me and in my scoring bill and just let me be free and be myself. Also, shout out to my teammates as well. I mean, they were finding me in the right spots and just me being aggressive as well. But overall, the team effort wasn't just me. Uh, Jennifer Porti, go ahead. Jennifer Porti from Let's Talk Woman and Basketball Podcast. You guys were up, were down by 19 points midway through the third quarter. Can you talk about how you were able to keep your composure and keep fighting? You asking me or the players? Um, either or. I'm sorry to answer that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we pride ourselves on, on defense, and we knew that in the first half it wasn't up to our standard. Um, so figuring out, you know, stringing together some stops made a difference in our transition offense, what we, which we feel like we're really strong in. Um, so really just making sure we get our stops, get out, and then the rest were to fall into place. Like I said earlier, we found people in, in their right spots and getting their right shots um, and also crashing the boards. Emmanuel Blaze, back to you. Coach, you may have already talked about this, but what was also impressive about the fourth, not only scoring 24, but holding them to 10 points in the fourth. Talk about your defense at the end of the game and how y'all came together to hold them down like that. Yeah, I just think that we had a group out there that wanted to get this win and wanted to get it done. So they were willing to actually execute the defensive game plan. I mean, we applied a lot more pressure, which had them starting their offense out a little bit further so that they weren't able to get easy easy looks and easy opportunities. We also did a better job of rotating on the backside in terms of their ball screen stuff. So they went into some ball screen and they were able to hit pocket passes, but our rotations were there so they wouldn't get easy layups. Um, but I just thought we just turned up um, the intensity of our of our defense and the pressure of our defense in that fourth. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you.